Hello everybody, thanks for joining us once again for another Petters preview of the V8 Supercars Championship 2014. Flat out in the edit suite here at the moment in preparation for our next big V8 Supercar event. And after a 5,300 kilometre journey, first of all air freight across the Tasman, then the transporter drive all the way to the west side of our country across the Nullarbor, we're set for another fascinating encounter. This is a great racetrack. First opened back in March 1969, the first Australian Touring Car Championship winner was Peter Brock in 1973. We've had 75 races, 36 events in this particular location and it's a great track. It's just 2.4 kilometres, seven turns, but it always produces outstanding racing. We've got another super sprint event, two 100 kilometre races on Saturday and a 200 kilometre race on the Sunday and there'll be three bursts of qualifying as well. 32 of the Dunlop soft tyres on the car, so with the soft tyre you can always be guaranteed of some pretty wild racing and a bit of tyre degradation as well. Here's the series overview at this point. We've got 38 races in our two 2014 championship and we've got 13 races down. Situation's interesting, seven different drivers have had a pole position led by Jamie Wincup. Eight different drivers have won a race. It's pretty extraordinary in a field of 25 cars and again Jamie Wincup heads that field together with Mark Winterbottom they've both had three wins each. It's very competitive. The series is poised at a very interesting position because for the first time since 2008, Mark Winterbottom leads the championship for Ford Performance Racing and Pepsi Max. He's got a margin of 107 points and then it's pretty tight after that. Just 10 points is the gap between second place and third place and Fabian Coulthard in third place as you can see behind Craig Lowndes is just a whisker behind despite the fact that he hasn't really had strong results in the recent past but he's stringing together a beautiful job in terms of his consistency. Reminder once again that the boys from Red Bull Racing are chasing those records. Lowndes is on the march to be the first guy to win 100 races and Jamie Wincup is trying to topple the Peter Brock pole position record. He's currently got 55, PB sits on 57. Um, 12 different drivers have occupied a position on our podiums in 2014 and how's this for a stat? All of the drivers in the field, 24 of them bar Jack Perkins, have had a top 10 result and Jack's best performance is an 11th. So everybody in the field effectively has had a top 10 result. The field is incredibly close at the moment. Who's got the form over there? Well, Wincup has had eight pole positions in Western Australia. He's on fire in that location. His teammate, Craig Lowndes, has had 14 race wins. He's one away from toppling the all-time record held by Mark Scaife. That was achieved at the old, now closed, Oran Park circuit. Qualifying records, Jamie Wincup. Red Bull have been very strong and Triple Eight in the recent past. And the lap record, well, 10 years ago, the place was resurfaced. It was incredibly quick and Jason Bright holds that record. The chance of us seeing the Pedders Chrysler safety car, a little less than 50%, so it's not as high as you think. And of course, when they do go off in Western Australia, they're typically buried deep in the sand. That's our preview for the event. We'll look forward to your company again when we preview our next big V8 supercar event right to the top end of our country, up to the Northern Territory for some sunshine midwinter. Thanks for watching, see you soon. Bye for now.